So whenever we have a projectile, we usually have um, a flight of this description. So it's a parabola, um, quadratic. And we're usually given some sort of information about the angle that it's taken off at and the velocity, usually u, so it's a vector. And the first thing we can do is resolve this vector into two other vectors. So if I use this vector and change it into this one, I end up with this triangle. This is our vertical vector, ui and ux. If we add those two together, we get the actual one that we're given. Uh, this one's harder to use. So we, we resolve it into those two vectors. And we can just use um, trigonometry. So sine of theta equals opposite, in this case, uy over hypotenuse. And we rearrange that formula times both sides by u. And we end up with ui equals u sine theta. So there's our first formula to find the vertical component. Of a vector. Okay, so the next one was if we use cos theta, we get adjacent divided by hypotenuse times both sides by u. Just to cancel that out, you end up with ux equals u cos theta. Now these can be then used in the formulas that you have on the test, such as Vy equals Uy plus Ayt. That's where time of flight, if we rearrange this one, divide, so we take Uy over the other side, we get this one, and then we get rid of the Ay from this T1 by dividing by Ay dividing by a y. We get t equals v y minus u y over a y. So if we want time of flight we can use this formula then we can start using the other formulas that were given on the formula sheet.